Welcome back to another video, I'm T. Pendel. Do me a favor and smash the like button before we even get started. Today we're gonna to be talking about skills all men should have in their 20s. A man should be able to fix things around the house. And this is from big to small. And the dope part about the time period that we're in right now is that you can YouTube or Google how to fix almost anything around your house. You should be able to put a ceiling fan in. You should be able to replace your garbage disposal. You should be able to replace your outlet. All of these things are things you can look up and research and go step by step on how to fix them. I've even gone as far as to learn how to fix a hole in the wall because I remember I was home from college on Christmas break. Put a hole in the wall by mistake and I figured out how to fix it. We got the paint and painted over and she never knew what happened. All men in their 20s should know how to budget. Budgeting is key and the earlier you learn how to budget, the better you will be off in life. Debt is the leading cause of stress. It'll ruin relationships, whether that's someone you like, a friendship. It's just terrible when you can't budget or manage your money. We all have been there got that first credit card, you like, man, this is easy. I can just keep on swiping this thing. Not knowing you were current interest, you were getting late fees, penalties, et cetera, et cetera. There are classes online, things you can research that'll help you be more responsible with how you spend and take care of your money. Another thing men should know how to do in their 20s is how to make a drink, whether it's for yourself or for someone you're dating. See where her go-to drink is. Pay attention when she's at the bar and when she orders a drink. You should be able to make that same drink at home. When you make the drink at home, make sure it's on the lighter side. You do not want to come across like you're trying to give her too much to drink and do some other crazy stuff. This will show that you're paying attention, you're listening, and you're observing. Imagine having company, somebody had a long day, y'all had a great evening, you get back from dinner or whatever, and she's like, hey, I would love a cocktail right now, I would love a drink. And you bring her her go-to choice. Bruh, the, the cool points don't get no cooler than that. Men should know how to stay fit. And this is really important in your 20s and even pushing on forward because I'm a firm believer, as a man, you have the opportunity to just get better with age. As you mature, women literally find you more attractive. Stop making excuses for yourself. You're not too busy. You're not too far gone. You're not too far out of shape. Set up some weekly goals or even monthly goals. Get involved in some easy challenges with some friends that'll hold you accountable. And with social media and phones, you don't have to be next to each other. We don't have to show up at the gym together. We can have our own group chat and everybody posted that they went to the gym or went on a run, but you got that workout in and you can post a little picture or a video to prove it. As men, we all want to look good. We all want to appear presentable. And this goes way beyond clothes and jewelry and all of those other accessories. We're talking about skincare. And T. Shanley will definitely get you on the right track. As soon as you open the box, they're going to give you this thank you card. And the dopest part about this thank you card, it kind of runs you through and gives you everything that you need and how you need to use it. The card even shows the usage amount. You can't go wrong with that. I know as a man and I know growing up, skincare is not really pushed on us, but it is really, really important. You should not be using an all-in-one hair care, face care, this care. That's for like the middle school kids. We're grown now. It's time to do what grown ups do. Fellas, it's 2021. It's really important to start taking care of your skin at an earlier age. Don't wait till you get all wrinkly and start looking crusty and crazy. And let's be real, those all in one, two in one, three in one, when women find out that you're cleaning your body with the all in one everything cleaner, they're, they're laughing at you, fam. I know y'all peep my skin. It's because I've been taking care of myself. T. Hanley has really been helping your boy out. And it's just like any aspect of life. You gotta be consistent and take care of yourself. If you wanna get stronger, you're gonna consistently hit the gym. If you want great Great skin, you're gonna consistently take care of your skin. Since using Tea Hanley, my dark spots have lightened up, my skin doesn't feel as dry, I'm moisturized, I'm glowing. The list goes on. Get you a subscription, you're gonna have complete control. You can even skip between different systems, skip your next delivery if you haven't used everything, and even control your exact renewal date. Let me break down to y'all how much goodies my subscription box came with. You got the daily face wash, you got the AM PM eye cream, you got the two time a week facial exfoliator. This is really gonna keep your face fresh, help with dead skin, and help you with them angry. Heads. Exfoliating in itself will change your life. You got the AM PM Super Serum, the AM Moisturizing SPF, and I will tell you right now, fellas, if you are not using SPF on your face while you're out and about or out in the sun, you are damaging your skin daily. You need this. And this was my favorite part about the whole package was the PM Moisturizer. This does not have SPF in it, so it'll be lighter on your skin and it's perfect before bed. Last but not least, you got the Lip Balm with SPF 30. I make this joke all the time. Take care of your lips also. Don't know, lady. Like you no know, dried, cracked lips. You got that little white stuff in there. And I mentioned the greeting card that came with it at the beginning, but I forgot to mention that you even have this hotline you can hit up anytime you have a question. What company does that? You got a question? You need help? You having problems? Hit them up. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring this video, they're offering viewers an amazing deal. Just click the link in the description and you get a free toiletry bag with your first box. Click the link and get started for only 25 bucks. Men should know how to cook in their 20s. I'm not talking pasta. Ooh, 
noodles, the noodles, spaghetti, garlic bread. Like, really know how to cook. Every man should be able to prepare some chicken or some fish or at least a few of your family favorites. Y'all, y'all have to have some in-house recipes. Some might look at it like, oh, it's not manly to be all in the kitchen and cooking. How you gonna eat, fam? Is your mom still cooking for you? That's not manly. But it's time to grow up and know how to take care of yourself. You in your 20s now, fam. And one of the best parts about being able to cook is you can save money and it's healthier. Eating out adds up. It'll be like boom, 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 boom. And then you don't even know where your money has gone when you ate out because you didn't ate it all up and you have nothing to show for it. And it's healthier to do your own thing. And me personally, I like cooking at home and I like eating at home because I know the cleanliness of what I'm working with. You go to those restaurants, you don't know what's going on back there in that kitchen. They could be back there playing ping pong with your burger. Men should know how to clean up after themselves. So many times I'm at my homeboy's house or a friend house or I go to like a party or a house gathering pre-COVID and just chill and somebody's house is just dirty. That does not make me want to hang out. That does not make me want to sit down. It does not make me want to eat there or have a drink there. I'm looking for the roach. Have a clean house. Have a clean bathroom. Have a clean car. It's nothing worse than getting in somebody's car and the car is dirty. It's 20 hats all up in the back part of the window. You pop the trunk and look like they've been living out of the car for weeks. When your place is clean, people are a lot more comfortable. Put an incense on, light a candle, don't overdo it. Don't have 20 candles going in the house. You're gonna burn the house down, fam. Take care of yourself and make sure it's smelling nice in there. A clean space is also much easier to work in. You can't have no clutter, that's all that. Clean that up and watch how easy and smooth things will go. I feel that in your 20s, all men should know how to sew. And I know this is gonna sound funny, but I literally learned how to sew in like middle school. I took like a home ec course. It was like half cooking and half sewing, but it has been so many times like a shirt has ripped, a hat has messed up, some jeans has messed up, or a button has, has came off, and I was able to hook that up or fix that, or even for a family member or somebody I was dating, and they were like, what? You know how to do that? You know how to do this? I'm like, yeah, like, chill. I, I, I got this. I'm the jack of all trades. What, what, what can I not do? Equip yourself. It, it's like you got your own bat belt, like the little Batman belt. He had all kinds of stuff on that belt. So it could just be something else you could do. Men should also know how to manage their stress. What do you do when you get upset, when you get angry, when you get down? How do you handle that. As men, I feel like there's a lot of pressure put on us anyway to provide and to be the person to make someone feel safe or even hold the front and, and not be emotional or hurt. So what do you do when you get to that point? Because bottling it up, you eventually will just explode like a volcano. Find a way to calm yourself down. Find something that will lessen the stress. Whether you're doing meditation, whether you're going on a walk, going on a run, working out, getting in a bath. I get in a bath and drop a bath bomb in that thing and kick my legs up and relax in a hot minute. I take at least two to three baths a week. If that's something you're having trouble with and you still don't know how to make yourself seem less stressed out or less bothered, just keep trying new things. Men should know how to barbecue. I know we did the cooking already, but the barbecue is different. It's, it's just something different about outside cooking. Make sure you can at least, at least, put some hot dogs and hamburgers on the grill. You wanna get fancy with it, put a couple little skewers on the grill. Some chicken, some steak, season that thing up and watch how people will smile. You ever walked in a neighborhood or, or outside and you just smell like, Damn, somebody barbecuing. That's supposed to be you, fam. Get on the grill and start flipping it on them, fam. Last but not least, men should know how to give a massage. Some people are terrible at massages, but being an athlete, I feel like I become somewhat of a good massager or masseuse. For the simple fact of working out so long and playing a sport like football, I know where the aches and the pains are and I know where I need to be rubbed to make it feel good. So I'm literally doing to other people when I give a massage what I would want done to me. And one of the keys when giving a massage, fellas, is always start with a small amount of pressure. Don't start and get in there all aggressive. You feel me? That, that'd be a, ah, ah, that'd be a turn off off the bat. They'd be like, all right, don't touch me. You, you did enough. Thank, thank you. I appreciate it. And if you know how to give a massage, who who knows where a good massage could lead to? I'm, I'm gonna just leave it at that. Use some lotion. Maybe get some baby oil. Shoot, maybe even some BioFreeze, and then just start off slow. Ask how that pressure is, and go with the flow. I appreciate y'all watching another video. This was Skills All Men Should Know in their 20s. Don't forget to click that link in the description and sign up for your subscription today. Tell them T. Pendel sent you. T. Hanley is really, really giving you the opportunity for your skin to flourish. If I missed anything, I'm in the comment section below replying to almost everybody, so I appreciate all the love down there also. I'm gonna see y'all next time.